All right, guys. Um, the reason why I decided to put this video together is to help some of you understand how to use Visio. Visio is a very simple program to use, a very forgiving program. One of the things I want to help you understand is that <clears throat> the way I use Visio is the simplest way I can possibly use it, and it works the best for me. What I mean by that is I start with what you see here, which is a blank canvas. Nothing fancy, no colors, nothing. Then after I lay down what I want to put in place, I then organize it. After I'm done organizing it, I then go in and add the color and all the magic and make it look beautiful. So what I want to first help you understand is that this canvas, when you open this up, should not make you think whatever that like you're limited to these four corners because you're not. It will get as big, as wide, as long, whatever you're doing, wherever you're placing things, it will just add more paper to it. So you have a huge canvas to work with. It's gigantic. It's as big as you possibly could want it to be. So don't feel pressure that you're going to have to squeeze everything into this box right here. I'll show you that it'll complement what you're adding and add more space for you. So over here on the side <clears throat> is where you're going to find your basic, uh, your basic shapes. Okay, you've got your basic shapes right here. And there are some quick shapes, and there are some more shapes available, and you can search up here. You can search for, you know, whatever you want to look for. Let's say people. You search for people, and people will come up. Things associated with people, like elevator, desks, uh, and so forth and so forth. Let's do a quick shape, and I'll show you how to start a simple chart and we'll make it look beautiful when we're done. So let's put our first thing down. You'll notice when I lay it down that there's an orange line. What that orange line is letting me know is that that box is centered in that paper right there. And it's centered from left to right, I'm centered. If I go away from it, it'll move away. But as soon as I go here, orange box, orange line, I'm centered, I'm laying it down. Good to go. The four, all the corners, these things here will allow you to change the size of it. Big, small, whatever you want. But the nice thing about it is that if you were to go over this arrow, it will then show you, before you get there, what it would look like. And not only that, but it will automatically add in for you the correct line. So we select that. And let's see, we want to select another one. And over here, let's select the box. And over here, let's select the box. Okay. We'll put a, let's put a couple of boxes across over here. All right. And you'll notice that it's complementing everything. It's even. The box in the middle is even. The boxes going down are even. The boxes on the left and the boxes on the right are even and the arrows are going in the right direction. So before you even begun, you have a pretty nice looking chart. So you're starting off well. So let's say we want to get a little bit more things in here. Let's say we want to add in another one here, and another one here. Now because you set it up this way, doesn't mean that you need to leave it this way. You can move it to wherever you want, and it will bring that line Again, you're centered to the box on the left, centered to the box above, lay it down, and now that right there is an even looking clean chart. That's clean. So we have all of our boxes right here for our chart. They're even, they're laid out well, they look good. You then can do what you, you know, you can add anything you want in there now. You can add in text, and you can just click on it. And it'll open it up and allow you to add in text. So let's say we want to start, <clears throat> let's say this is a, a family. Okay. And this is, you know, family, oops, family one. And this is family two. Right. This is family 
you know, three, let's say. Let's say this is family four. And our family zero <clears throat> is going to be right there in the center. I know my numbers are a little off, but that's not the purpose of what I'm trying to do with you. So let's say now we wanted to add in some other kinds of shapes. Let's say we wanted to add in a, you know, um, something else. So we drag it over. And again, the line opens up, helping me get everything clean. Okay, I want to add another one in. Line opens up, adding everything in clean, and I'm dropping these in place. Okay. Again, even, clean, nice and neat. Now let's say I want to connect them. You select connector. <clears throat> and what I do is, if you want the two boxes to connect, I go from the red box on one to the red box on the other one, and I'll show you what I mean by that. So I'm coming down here, and here's the red box. Blue to connection point. Yep, that's what I want. And that's what it's going to do for me. Now, your options up here, when you go up here to design, is you can change that. You can make the connector straight. You can make the connector curved. You can make the connector at right angles. Whatever you, you, know, you want to do. So let's say I want to do, you know, for this video, I'm going to do a uh, you know, straight line. I've got a straight line right there. I've got another box right here to there. Let's say I want to make that straight. Straight. Now, if you look at the chart, <clears throat> you'll see that everything inside this chart now is clean, neat, balanced, and well put together. See, and we haven't even done anything yet. Okay, so everything there is clean, simple, well balanced, looks good, looks healthy. Now, let's say that we want to isolate this right here. Let's say for whatever reason we want to isolate this area right here. What you'll do is you'll click insert, you'll go to container, and you'll select the container. It'll show you an example of a container. Okay, showing you examples. Now this is a very forgiving piece of software. So let's say we select this one right here. We'll do container number three. Container number three. And now you can drag container number three up here. And you can resize container number three. And it'll bring up the orange line. <clears throat> and now you're neat, <clears throat> clean, and isolated. Now, let's say I want to move those things over over here. These right here. Whoops. Sorry. Got ahead of myself. Let's say I wanted to move. These. You just highlight it and the pick will come up and group everything together. And you can just pick it up like one big picture and move it around. I'll show you. Sorry. Okay. It's selecting that, but you can move that just that wherever you want to go, bring it back. You know, so you can make it, you can adjust it however you really wish to adjust it. But I don't like that. Up here, there's an arrow. This is why I'm showing you this. You just click the arrow back, 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 done. It's back to where it was. Tried it. I didn't like it. That's where it is. You can click on this and write family to families uh, from Westchester. Okay. Whoops. Families from Westchester. <clears throat> and that's it. Right there, clean and organized. Now you notice the whole time we did this that our canvas grew. We had a small canvas before, but we have a bigger canvas now. It grew, it complemented what we were doing and added in more space as we needed it. So there was nothing to worry about. So let's say now we want to add in um, some people. And I'll show you why I'm showing you this. What you want to do is you want to add in, uh, let's say we're going to add in this person right here. In the box, and then I'm sorry about that. We'll add that person in there. Let's say we want to add in, uh, let's see if we can find multiple people we'll type staff. So we've got personal staff, personnel. All right, we've got personnel, and we put it right there. Now, 
I'm done, let's say. Okay? I got some people, got some other things in there. Um, you know, maybe I want to add in to show that it's, you know, let's say like a building. There's all these buildings. Okay, and then all these options are available for us to choose a bank, a building, a skyscraper, a favorite, New York. All right, so you got all these building options here. So let's uh, let's pick this building here. And we're just going to put the building right there. Boom. Right there. Okay. It's really starting to look like something, you know. Um, now, let's say we want to jazz it up a little bit, make it look a little better. What we're going to do, we can go up here to design without even touching anything. You can take your mouse and scroll over the options above. And it will adjust the colors, the shadowing of the boxes. It'll adjust the people to anything you like. You can change the colors around later on if you want as well. But it'll do everything you want right there. Boom, boom, boom. So now I drew that simple chart, and I'm going with this right here. Well, no, I like this here because the people look cooler. Okay? Now I'm at that. Now let's say, you know, I don't like this right here, the way that this is looking. Again, you go back here to, to uh, insert. Sorry. It was up here is what I wanted to show you. I'm sorry. When I click the container, you'll notice that it became orange up here. When you click that orange button, the options for the container will open up down here. And again, if you scroll over it, it'll show you what your options are. And then you can hit heading style, and you can see all of them there. So you got all these different options to adjust that header. So let's go through doing the container one more time. And we'll put another container on there for you. Let's say that we wanted to add a container. We're going to again go to insert, go to container, select one, drag that one over to where we want it. Oops, I'm sorry. I didn't do that right. See, I'm human. I make mistakes. Go back. Get rid of that container. I know if I click the desktop and I go to insert and I click container, exactly. It'll allow me to pick a new container. I can drag the container to wherever I want it to be. I need it to be over here. Let's say I need, sorry. Let's say I need. Oops, I'm gonna try this. So I need a little more room. Okay. That. Now, the orange thing is up here now. The container tools. Click container tools, scroll over it, and it will allow me to have all the options that are available to me. I can choose from whatever I want. I like that one there, I'm going for that. And you'll have the rest of them will be available for you in here too. Okay, so here you go. That's basically how you put a container. So now we've got in a couple of minutes, this wasn't very long, <clears throat> a very simple, easy to use chart. Okay, um, one other thing I want to show you is lines. Lines in here, I showed you how to make them straight, showed you how to make them 90 degrees, I showed you how to make them curved. Let me show you now how to really make some lines. You go like this, okay? So we got this line, okay? And this is a curve line we're gonna do. Up here where it says line, you can decide the weight of it, how thick you want it to be, whether you want dashes or an arrow. So for the purposes of this demonstration, I'm gonna make it pretty thick, okay? And I'm gonna move it over so I can show you what's gonna happen. When you click on line now, and you scroll over again, I'm not even doing anything. I'm just scrolling over it, and it's letting me get an idea of what's what. So I need a thick red line right there. I got something I got to point out. Thick red line. Click on it. Boom. Done. Now let's say I need an arrow. I can get that kind of arrow. I get that kind of arrow. Uh, I can get an arrow like that. I can do just a point like that from one place to another. Two points. Okay. Got all these arrow options. Two ways. 
you name it, all of them's there. And then you can go inside if you want to get real fancy schmancy and decide how you want it to really look, you know, as far as colors and roundness, so that's getting ahead of yourself. So line, weight, dashes, allow you to make dashes. So we got a line right there, dashes with an arrow in red. I was able to put it right there. And let's say that I need to put, um, you know, a basic shape. <clears throat> I want to show, you know, just this basic shape I'm going to put on there. And I can drag that to it. And once I put it in there, if you let that red box come up, that's what it does. It complemented it. You see? It put it in the right place for me so that I could see what's going on. So that's basic functions of Visio. Pretty simple, pretty easy to use. Um, I'm going to experiment with it and learn about a couple more of the fancy schmancy things that are available. And if you have any questions, please feel free to, you know, leave a comment below. I respond to them all the time. So thank you very much for watching this and uh, have a good day.